what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello my name is Danielle welcome to the Dan fam we are all in full summer mode now and I'm so excited this summer is going to be amazing we're not even done yet some of you guys are just starting summer a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about ways that I stay productive over the summer because if you guys watch my vlogs you know that I really don't like to have many lazy days I think summer is definitely an important time to have time in yourself and to relax but it's also no excuse to just kind of lay in bed all day and I know that's what we do a lot like I'm guilty of that I'm like eh, it's summer like it's fine but there's still things to be done there's still things that you can do to work towards your goals over the summer so I'm gonna be talking about ways to stay productive how to plan your week ahead so you have like a really good summer and you do fun things but you're also staying balanced so I'm really excited to do this video these are tips that I genuinely use these are things that I actually do so I came up with these tips on the way home from the plane last night when I was visiting my future school so this video is in collaboration with one of my best friends here on YouTube Kenzie Elizabeth if you like my videos you would love hers we're very very similar we both are really into like that whole girl boss vibe. She has an amazing sense of style. She's always doing amazing things, eating healthy. Like she's super, super, super cool. So check out her channel down below and I'll also have her video link down below. She's also talking about her like top 10 tips on how to have a productive summer. So we were so excited to do this video together. So definitely go check her out and let her know in the comments of her video that I sent you. And if you're coming from Kenzie's video, hello, welcome, subscribe down below if you like this video. I've just got the tips on my phone here. So let's just get started. Let's just let's have a chat. So tip number one that I have for you guys and it's honestly probably my like number one tip is Wake up at the same time every day I know that sounds awful and you don't want to have to wake up to an alarm Like I think there's days when you could definitely be like all right Like you can make it where you sleep in on the weekends But then you wake up at a certain time on the weekday still because it just sleeping in until 11 or 12 or 1 or some of my friends sleep until like 2 like it can really mess up your schedule. It kind of ruins your day, at least for me. Some people love it, but for me, if I wake up super late, I'm just like, eh, like this day is practically over. Like I'll do one thing and then I'll just get right back in my PJs and go to bed. But if you wanna like look back on your summer and have a good summer, you definitely wanna make sure you're waking up at the same time so you can start your day right. So for me, I put an alarm every day for 9 a.m. A lot of times I'll wake up before my alarm at like 8.30, so it's kind of nice not to wake up to an alarm. But like I really find it beneficial when I wake up at nine, I, you know, I, I sleep slowly wake up, I still stay in bed a little bit, then I get up and I go on with my day and I feel well rested, as long as I go to bed, like a decent time, but it's just good to like still be on a schedule. Obviously I wouldn't be waking up at like 6 a.m. like you do on school, school weeks, but like try it out. My second tip's kind of subjective depending on what you do for work or what you want to get done. So for me, my desk is really important to me because that's where I do a lot of my editing and my room especially needs to always be clean because I'm filming in it. Let's say you do sports over the summer, make sure your you know sneakers are always right there, like everything's clean, everything's ready because when you have a clean workspace, you feel a lot better. Yeah, like yesterday I got home from traveling and my desk was a mess. I sat down because I had so much to do and I couldn't do any of it because there was papers all around me, like nothing was like, it wasn't good so I cleaned up my whole desk and now it's just so nice it only has the things on it that I want like the cute decor I've got my planner nice and clean so I have like arm space so then after cleaning it up I sat down this morning and I got so much done that I needed to do because I had a clean workspace and it makes you feel good so get on that this is something that I do so at the beginning of each week usually on like a Sunday night I'll sit down and I'll say okay this is a full week of summer what do I want to get done this week what do I want to do this week where are the places I want to go who are the people that I want to see these are the things you should be writing down so that's when I'll sit down and I'll say okay I want to hang out with Caitlin on Tuesday so I'll text her then and I'll say hey like what are your plans on Tuesday and then she'll respond and we'll be like okay boom done we're going to do this and I write it down so Tuesday I know I have that and then I know I have to work around that or whatever it is and then I'll say okay I know I need to write a few thank you cards for some grad gifts write that down like the things that you want to do or the things you want to get done or let's say I really want to check out a new art gallery this week write that down and hold yourself accountable for it and then you end up going on a fun adventure this is like totally a summer thing make sure to check the weather for that week because I remember there was one week when actually Joey was here and it was raining all week and I had all these things planned for us to do like we were gonna go to the beach we were gonna go kayaking but you just really can't do that stuff when it's thunderstorming outside so definitely check the weather so let's say you see that it's gonna be raining all day one day maybe that's your day in that's your lazy day that's when you'll stay in and clean your room or you'll watch movies with the fam or invite some friends over watch movies or you'll go to the mall that's your mall day you know don't waste the nice days because when it's nice weather outside take advantage of it since it rains a lot during the summer 
I am so thankful that this is my first year that I won't have to have summer reading. It's so nice. I don't have any required summer reading. At least I don't think, my God. I know I'm taking English in the fall, English like 101, but I don't think I have summer reading. But if you still have summer reading, no worries. I had it in high school and middle school and elementary school, actually. So my thing that I always did with summer reading was at night, I would just read a couple pages and then it kind of got me sleepy and then I would just go to bed. And then I'd wake up in the morning and I feel great and refreshed because I went to bed without having a screen in front of me, but rather a book and it was very organic. And then the next night, you read a couple more pages and the next day, you read a couple more pages, but literally only a few pages. If you start at the beginning of your summer, it's just so much easier and you're not worrying about like reading like summaries of books or like whatever it might be, like just, read the book and just read a few pages every day and you'll feel so good. I know one of the hardest things is getting out of bed in the morning. Like, let's be real, like that's tough. And, but once you, you know that once you're out of bed, you feel fine and you feel great. Well, most of the time, it's just literally that action of getting out of bed. So there's two things I do. One, first when I wake up, I'm lucky. I have a little Bluetooth speaker over here. So I'll go on my phone when I wake up and play like my morning playlist or something that'll get me in a good mood or get me wanting to get out of bed. And I'll play that on the Bluetooth from my phone, still in bed. So I have some music playing, there's something going on in my room and it's kind of getting me, you know, a little bit more awake and then I'm more inclined to get out of bed. So that's something you can do. You don't even have to have a Bluetooth speaker. You can literally just be like, okay, let's listen to this playlist, play it on your phone. So you, you're just kind of starting to wake up a little bit. And then my second thing is for me, I just love making myself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning. That's just something that gets me in a good mood, just the art of, you know, actually making yourself. So once I get out of bed, the first thing I do is I go make myself a latte or I'll make myself some tea, pour some milk in, you know, go through that whole process and sit and drink it. And that kind of helps wake me up as well. My last tip is shower in the morning because during school weeks and school days, I always shower at night because you just have to wake up so incredibly early that I just am in no position to be showering in the morning because that will just like take way more time and then you get cold and you're tired, just, no. But but on summer days, you're waking up a little bit later and showering in the morning after you're having your cup of coffee or whatever can really wake you up and get you started for the day and you have more time to get ready, I feel. So I think showering in the morning is definitely a lot more beneficial. That is all the tips that I had for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful because I think it's really important to still, like obviously have fun and be lazy during the summer. That's what summer's for, but it's also to go on adventures and make the best of it and make memories. So I really hope these tips help you guys like I really do comment down below if you have any tips for me always looking but yeah that is all for today's video make sure to check out Kenzie's video down below you won't regret it I love you guys so incredibly much and I will see you guys very soon for our next video actually I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> bye guys